Hey, this video is a follow-up to my previous tutorial I had about distributing your WPF applications running on .NET and .NET Core with Squirrel and GitHub. In this video, we're going to cover WPF applications running on .NET Framework. I have the same WPF application that we had in the previous video. So there's our current version, update button, check for updates button, and the code in the main window class is absolutely the same. Uh, the only thing is I changed the link to a repository and yes, I have this project set up in the repository. Uh, it's public and um, it's got its git ignore fixed and all that stuff that we did in the previous video. So um, what we need to do is we're going to go into our CS proj file. Unfortunately, you cannot double click on this uh, and you'll have to open it up with something else. And uh, I chose Visual Studio Code because it's great. And here is the code that we're going to be uh, copy pasting basically. I wrote this MS build script, which basically does the same thing as our previous script in the previous video, but it does it in a, in a different way. <laughs> so we have our NuGet tools, squirrel tools. We're pointing to the packages. Don't touch this. Um, I'll explain this one later. Uh, and we're actually getting our version from the assembly info for this project this time. So if you want to change the version of your application, you go here and change the assembly version right here. And you can see that I'm actually only getting the first three parts of it. So this doesn't count. Um, after that, I point to my new spec file. This is also really important. Make sure this is pointing to your new spec file. In my case, it's in the solutions directory, WPF app framework, and there it is. I already filled it up with information, uh, just like in the previous video. So right after that, we have our NuGet generation and our squirrel release generation. Now, if I go ahead and build this project, I'll get my release files. Note that my configuration is set to release in our solutions directory, deployment, and there we go. One more thing that I wanted to explain is, uh, let me open up Visual Studio Code real quick. So this copy command, it's copying an update exe from squirrel tools to our output directory and one directory above that, and it's copying it there. So if we go to our bin, we have this update exe file. Now, this is really important. I forgot to mention, uh, you cannot debug your applications properly if you don't have this uh, update exe file right here. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, just insert this command in your .NET and .NET Core applications as well, and you'll be able to debug them just fine. Okay, now let's actually create a release. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my repository. There it is. Let's create a new release. Our version was 1.0.0. Give it some title, some description. And again, just drag and drop all the files in the deployment releases folder to here. All right, now publish this release. Good. Let's set up our application. And there we go. Okay, so my application is not responding. And the reason for that is I is, is that I actually misspelled the <laughs> link to my repository, which is fine. Let's just create a new release and fix that right up. So let me close this up real quick. Okay, and uh, just for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to create a new release with a new version. So there we go. Build. And again, set your configuration to release. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's our version 1.0.1. .1. Let's commit this. Now let's create a new release. Okay, now let's set up the application. I hope it works this time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> our version is 1.0.1. .1. We can check for updates. Nothing is happening because there are no updates available right now. 
again, for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to create one more release. And I'm actually going to change the version like this. The process is the same as before build. There we go, commit that, then create a new release in GitHub. There we go, our new version is live. Let's make sure that it works. So there we go, our current version is 1.0.1. .1. Check for updates. There we go, an update is available, let's do that. Okay, so I had a really weird crash, uh, which has never happened to me before, but Hey, this is me from the future, and I actually inspected that crash. It was happening on this line where we tried to update our app, and apparently it couldn't find some DLLs, and it was happening because uh, my squirrel.windows was 2.0.1. So again, make sure you install the version 1.9.0 uh, because after that, for some reason, it just doesn't work. Uh, if we inspect the NuGet files that we are generating, you can see that this one is broken, for example. It doesn't have the required DLLs. However, when we do the same thing with the older version of Squirrel, we get the DLLs that the application needs so desperately. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you install the correct version and everything should be fine. After restarting the application, our version is updated and everything is fine. So yeah, this is all for .NET Framework projects. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.